So I'm really excited. We're going to make some lemon pepper salmon, and I love seafood. So what we have here today is our creamy garlic and basil farfalle for a side, our lemon pepper marinade, our micro steamer broccoli florets for a side, and our Atlantic salmon with the skin on. It's perfect for this dish. First thing we need to do is open up our pack of salmon, and then add our marinade. want to make sure that the whole salmon is covered in the marinade so it marinates all over it. That's the best part, to get the flavor everywhere. You can give it a rub, flip it over, do the same thing on the bottom, then we'll cover it with saran wrap and put it in the refrigerator for a minimum of two hours to marinate or overnight. And after touching any raw meat, we want to go ahead and wash our hands. So our salmon's been marinating for two hours. I'm ready to put this on our baking sheet. First thing we want to do is get some cooking spray and just uh, grease our pan a little bit. Just like so. Then we take our salmon, place it down, get out a little extra marinade over the top, just smooth it over so it gets some nice color. I preheated the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to stick the salmon in there for 15 to 20 minutes and it'll be ready to serve. We're going to make our side creamy garlic and basil farfalle. We want to get our pasta out, add it to the pan, along with our seasoning pack. I've got a cup and a half of hot water. got a cup of 2% milk and you can use margarine or butter I'm using butter and that's two tablespoons now I've set the pan to high we're gonna bring that to a boil and then we're gonna reduce the heat and we're gonna let it simmer off for about 13 minutes you just want to mix everything through so that way it's uh, distributes evenly so right now um, we're gonna bring this product to a boil so our last side that we need to prep is our broccoli. It's in the micro steamer bag. We're just going to stick that in for three minutes. So our slamming salmon is ready to come out of this oven. And of course, it's cooked perfectly. So let's remove it from the baking tray and onto our cutting board. Should come off nice and easy because we pre-greased our uh, baking sheet. And it did. So the next thing we need to do is make up a plate so you guys can enjoy it for dinner. Just portion it out. This feeds four people, just like that. So we get our plate, add our salmon, add our side of pasta. Let's go ahead and get some of that on the plates. It smells so good. I love this stuff. I buy this at least twice a week. And then some of our broccoli florets out of our micro steamer bag. Always cooks perfect. And there you have it. Perfect dinner with some salmon.